What is up, people? Half Slab Bacon back with another snapshot update. That's right, guys. We are in 18W05A. And this week, guys, we're going to cover 18W03A as well. For those of you that didn't know, last week, the fourth week, um, there wasn't a lot going on in snapshots because Mojang moved offices, so they were busy like moving chairs and you know, um, weird photos that they had taken of each other during parties that they never wanted to publicize, etc. So, yeah, not a lot going on here, guys. In terms of the 03A, it was mostly bug fixes from previous snapshots, fixing stuff they broke, and that guy, yeah, that guy you know, over my shoulder, right there. Yeah, that guy. So what did they fix? Can you tell what they fixed? Can you tell? Can you tell? They updated the horse model. It's so special, guys. Look, they fixed his neck. Can you tell? They fixed it. I know you can tell. See how it's not so scrawny anymore? Come on, you can tell. Look, they fixed his feet too. It's so special. They fixed his feet and his neck. What? His neck doesn't look like you could snap him in half by farting. Okay. What do you want out of a snapshot? That's good enough. Isn't it? Really? It's good enough. Come on, guys. It's good enough. Okay. So what else happened? Um, yeah. Nothing for this one either, guys. I'm holding a flint and steel because remember how they broke it, fixed it, that kind of thing. Well, depends on who you are, how you look at it. Um, had a bit of a bug with durability where even if it wasn't lighting fire, like this here, um, it would still use durability. So they fixed that. That's this week's update, guys. They fixed the flint and steel. It's a maze balls. No, seriously, that's pretty much it. Okay, well, outside of the flint and steel, they added a new customizable boss bar, guys. So, you know, for like the wither and all those boss fights, you can make it pink now if you want to and call it the purple pink fairy of doom. I don't know what you want to call a wither, whatever. You can customize it. For that kind of stuff, I will provide a link to Mr. Slice Lime for you map makers that are interested, as always, his videos in the down there, because he's a Minecraft developer, guys. He's going to explain it better than me. You know, one of those guys that actually writes the code. So check him out, please, in the down there, right down there. Now, outside of that, guys, what do we got to cover? Well, for those of you that caught Minecon Earth, they did a little teaser about 1.14. The aquatic update. If you didn't see it, guys, basically they're adding more water stuff is the thing. Well, recently, if you're not following me on Twitter, you should because then you would know this already. They announced that 1.14 is scrapped. They're not doing 1.14. By that, I mean they're not doing the aquatic update for 1.14. They've refused. It's not going to be a thing. They're adding it to 1.13, which means we've got to delay a little bit here for 1.13 because now they have to add a whole other update to it. So we're not going to see 1.13 for a bit. But it means we're going to see more snapshots in the near future that actually might have some stuff in them. Pretty cool, right? I know. It's pretty cool. So why don't we go check that out? Like, seriously. Let's go check that out, should we? All right, guys, pay close attention. We got a new weapon here. This is the Trident, guys. It is amazeballs. Look at it, looks so cool. Yeah, it's amazing, I love it. Now, you can see right here how we can throw it, and you see how it's returning? That is a new enchant called Loyalty. Otherwise, you would lose it. So with Loyalty, you'll be able to throw this bad boy and get it back. There's some more stuff later. Look. We got coral, we got fishies, we've got all the things. Water physics, guys, it's gonna change. It's a little controversial, 
We'll touch on that in a little bit. It's going to be a thing. They're adding shipwrecks. This is amazing. We're gonna get more underwater stuff to go explore, maybe find some treasure chests. It's gonna be cool. Dolphins, people. Everybody loves dolphins, right? Come on, we're getting dolphins. How cool is that? Enough said, right? Enough said. Now, the Trident, guys, is also going to have something called Riptide. Riptide is going to allow us to basically propel ourselves with our Elytra. It's going to be cool. You'll be able to do it in water. Now, we're going to have some new terrain like icebergs. We're going to have new bubbles using the magma blocks. The magma block bubble thing is a little controversial. Um, initially, they said that bubbles were actually going to make stuff sink because it's going to break the buoyancy of water. I'm not sure I'm feeling that. Jeb has since come back and said they're revisiting the water physics, so that might change. Technically, water bubbles in water should actually make things go up, not down. So we'll see what they do with that. The other thing you see in this screenshot here that they're making water push items through fences. So they wanted water to be more realistic. Later on on Reddit, Jeb came out and acknowledged that that would break too much stuff. So, and I said this guys before when any of my viewers freaked out, it's not going to be as bad as you think. They're basically saying they would break too many devices, so they're going to take the water physics changes in small steps. Right now, when you place a water bucket on top of a fence or that kind of thing, it'll create a source block. So it's not going to break water transport systems for farms, sorting systems, etc. Baby steps here, peeps. Baby steps. I'm looking forward to it. Now, we do have to take a look at some of the cool things they're doing here in terms of fish tanks. That's right, I said fish tanks. You're gonna be able to grab live fish in the ocean with a bucket, and instead of getting water, you're gonna get water with fish in it. You're gonna be able to dump said water and fish into another body of water and get the live fish so you're going to be able to make aquariums fish tanks however you want to say it it's going to be a cool thing it's going to be amazing i wanted to touch again on the shipwrecks coral everything those that were around back in the day that remember when they brought ocean monuments out they coded it so the ocean monuments would still appear in previous generated bodies of water I fully expect them to do that with the new ocean content. They haven't said they will, but I fully expect them to do it. Reason being, they don't want you to go 20, 30, 40, 50,000 blocks out in a previously generated world. So I can't confirm, but I'm saying expect that to be a thing. Back to the Trident. Guys, we're gonna have another tool that helps us fly, but only during the rain. How cool is that? That they're gonna make you excited for rain in Minecraft. That's all I gotta say there, peeps. 1.13 is working out to be pretty cool. So as always, smash that like if you enjoyed the update to help others like yourself who might enjoy the content, find that channel. And if you're new and you haven't already, hit that sub button for more videos, peeps. Cause 2018's all about doing some more awesome stuff on this channel all the time like you haven't seen before. Thanks for watching. Bye.